Sam Chu from Prudence Asia. Welcome to part 2 of the DJI Zenmuse P1 unboxing. Today we're going to take a look at the P1 remote functions and performance from live view as well as some sample test data we collected and rendered. So uh, without further ado, let's dive in. Right, this is meant for mapping. We're going to do uh, take a look at how the setup for the mission flights occur. So first of all, to have the uh, support for the camera, you need to make sure that your firmware is updated to the latest version, at least 0202-0102. So let's take a look on the mission flight. Now I've set up two setups just for you to see what's the difference. Now let's take the 2D map. So under the 2D map, first of all, the GSD is extremely high. So at a height of 120 meters, you still get a GSD of 1.4 cm per pixel. That is double of what the P4 RTK can do. Of course, this is with a 35mm lens, so you can select it here. Then Muse, P1, and the lens type. So you have 24, 35, 50mm. This gives you a 63.5 degree field of view. 24mm gives you the 84 degree field of view and the 50, 46.8 degree field of view. Now because this is such high resolution, and it's such a fast camera, so you can see the speed. Even at 120 meters, you can fly at 15 meters per second. 11.3 hectare size area, you're going to be able to cover it in 9 minutes and 27 seconds. That is extremely fast. Now for the uh, additional functions, you can set how the uh, focus mode is done. What you have to do is you have to pre-calibrate the infinity focus. Right? Uh, you do that by going into your camera settings, you should be able to see a calibrate uh, focal length. So when the smart oblique mode is enabled, you can set the gimbal angle. Uh, by default, it's uh, minus 45. The speed will automatically vary between 3.3 meters per second and 15 meters per second. And the other thing you notice is that the area of coverage has increased a lot. And it can automatically increase the area according to the gimbal angle. So for 11.3 hectares, now it takes 42 minutes and 7 seconds. Right, so after this, uh, we're going to go fly and compare the results. So from all the pictures taken, the images will typically be processed and then rendered into point clouds, auto mosaics, 3D models. So this is what the data looks like. You can use it for your surveys, uh, any of your inspections, uh, as well as any planning, especially for slope, angles and any detailed inspection that you would like to do. Thank you for joining us for part 2 of the Zenmuse P1 unboxing. Remember to subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications on our upcoming videos and latest DJI products. That's all for today. I'm Chu from Prudence Asia signing off. Till then, fly safe.